everybody, how's it going? I'm out here camping in Missouri, in the woods, man. I have really been enjoying my time here so far. It has been quite moist. The park has also been quite empty. And we got some flooding issues going on here. Yeah, it's a little flooded right now. I've also uh, been here before. I'm here at Cap Linger Woods Campground in Missouri. You guys remember I went uh, kayaking here. I caught more fish over near that dam than I've ever caught in my life. And the great uh, accident happened. I was a passenger and we got into an accident here. Well, the, the park is actually under a uh, new ownership here. So uh, they're trying to fix it up. <laughs> Well, they're struggling to even just stay open right now because of what's going on with the economy. So they had to swap out their door up front at the office and put in a, a window. That's what Missouri State made them do to just to stay open. So, but yeah, they got cabins and they got a, uh, what do you call this thing? Uh, they got yurts. They got yurts and cabins and flooding. I'll show you my campsite over here though camping with a friend who's got a, a bus here maintaining six feet social distancing and all that stuff of course yeah this is the campsite got the uh, projector over there to watch movies later but fire's just having a hard time staying lit right now you know for the record I'm not using an umbrella but Robert had this little clip-on camo umbrella so it's over the microphone right now over the camera system so, so I can vlog in the rain y'all yeah how about that this was just something that I really, really needed. I was, I was cooped up. I was getting a little frustrated with all the urban camping that I've been doing that I just needed to go real camping, man. Hey, wait, you gotta see this. There's one campsite here. Campsite four has coax that goes up into the tree over here. Can you see the line going through that? It's kind of hard to see. It goes all the way over there to that satellite dish. That satellite dish over there in that field where it's got a clear shot of the southern sky there. So if I wanted to, I could camp at that site and just plug the end of that coax right into my uh, receiver and I could watch TV. But I'm not, I'm not here to watch TV. I am here to enjoy, relax, get some nature. Um, they canceled the whole free fishing license thing during the virus thing here. And, Missouri, but I got a one day for tomorrow. A one day out of state fishing, freshwater fishing license is $8. So I got one so that I can try to catch some fish tomorrow. Even if it's raining, I don't care. I'm not bummed out by the rain, you know. Be heading back up to the office tomorrow to get some, some live bait, some, some minnow to go fishing. But here's the uh, Kaplinger Woods uh, fishing bridge here, pedestrian bridge here. Go check it out. That water is raging over the falls there. Let's go tubing, y'all. Yeah, we can make it. We can make it. Just lean back. Lean back. We got this. There's no fish in there. They uh, seem to think there is, though. Yeah, there's people fishing. Yeah. This umbrella thing is not working for the camera right now because as soon as there's any wind, it just knocks it right off. So, all right, we'll just uh, test the uh, rainproofness of all this. I mean, you can hate on me, but I don't have to listen. Well, that's good. There's more campers showing up here. Here's the entrance, by the way. There's their sign. There's their tall gate. Well, the sunshine is peeking through the clouds. It's going to be a nice day today. Then we can go up to the office, and get some bait, and go try our luck at fishing. That's what we're going to do. It's too muddy out here. We just got too much rain. It's too muddy. I don't think there's. I don't think they're gonna bite today. I am catching a buzz though. <laughs> my 
I going to get myself a net instead? <laughs> okay. Let's check out this old mill or possibly a, a, an old power station on this side. Always being careful while we're urban exploring. What do we got here? Yeah, I think this was an old power station of sorts. Uh huh, look at those gears. Oh, that's cool, man. I like that. And then we got the steering wheel that controls everything. I don't know. Don't listen to me, guys. I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> Oh man, there's the uh, bridge that I was fishing from in the dam, and we're going to walk across this extremely sketchy looking piece of treated wood. Is that really a good idea? Should we do it guys? We should do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sketchy as hell. See, I'm fish scouting. Scouting for fish over here. It's kind of windy. I feel like I'm going to get blown right off this darn thing. I don't see any fish up here. Getting a little slippery here. Yeah. Hey, don't say I never take you guys places. Yeah. And on the other side of the dam over there is Kaplinger Mills, the actual old mill. We might walk over there and see some little parts of uh, their, their machinery as well here. See, I have good balance, but the wind is throwing me off, man. So we're sitting here getting ready to do a uh, campfire and another Bluebird bus just pulled up. Actually, this bus has some new owners <laughs> and they just bought it off the uh, campground people here. Looks like a 28 footer to me. And uh, they have dreams of turning it into a uh, mobile RV as well. So they stopped by to see my, bu my buddy Robert's bus because he's just built his out here. So they're, they're getting some interior ideas in there for how to build out a bus. Must be nice because then you can just build it however you want, you know. So these are the new owners of the Bluebird bus. You guys excited? Yeah. Right on, you want to drive it for us? See how it goes? We'll We're going to go for a little ride here, guys. See, you got a, a blank slate in here. You got to pull out all those seats and start building a motorhome, guys. Go test her out. Is this the biggest rig you've ever driven? Yes. I have. A, I, my first car was an Acura TL. Uh-huh. And I still drive a car. All right on. So. You'll get used to it. Yeah. It's kind of fun to drive though. Sure. Should I park her right here? You think? You like doing YouTube and stuff? I love it. It's so much freedom. Air brakes means you can put a little air horn on it later if you want. Yeah. <laughs> I love my air horn. There you go, dude. Nice job. Yeah. Thanks. Well, congratulations on your new purchase. Thank you. Well, while we're talking about buses, you want to go check out Robert's Bluebird here. Just a few months ago, this was just an empty bus inside. <laughs> Had uh, normal seats in there. Let's go see what he's done with it. Good old Bluebird, the bird. Here is the uh, front of the bus here. Looks just like school bus. Uh, all the old switches up there. It's got the uh, mechanical side door here that opens up the RV door and we turn around we're going to start in the living room got a little couch here got a dinette here with a little fold-up tray there dual countertops look at the size of that sink so you build a bus you can you can put in whatever sink you want <laughs> yeah and all the windows are tinted which looks nice got a little stove top here lots of storage underneath it's a residential fridge there look at that magnet nice magnet Moving on to the back, the bed is in the back area. Got some hanging racks back here. We got the uh, toilet here with some simple, simple rules on it. Yeah. <laughs> nice big shower in here. Lots of storage. Really cozy in here. It actually seems like there's a lot more room in here than there is my RV. <laughs> well, there you go. Another bus. All right, take two. It's about twilight hour. Let's see if we can find damn fish. That's at least a one-ouncer there, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
totally worth it. Got a nice fire going here. We got Zombie Land double tap on the big screen out here. Oh yeah. <laughs> they just got into the uh, RV that's about to break down. Sorry, spoiler guys. <laughs> and of course we're maintaining six feet social distancing, of course, between the buses, between the RVs. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, kind of bittersweet, but time to go already. Yeah, Robert and Heather have already exited with the bus, so I'm just packing up a few more things, and I'll be getting on the road myself with Jax. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss this place. I'll miss this place a lot, but I know I'll be back. The water has receded a little bit over there. Still a little muddy, but uh, yeah, just going to pack everything up. Uh, I know this video was kind of all over the place, a little bit of everything, but, you know, I didn't really come here to film. I came here to uh, escape uh, urban camping. And so I got what I needed out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Uh, but yeah, Jackson, I'll see you back on the road soon. Bye guys.